Hello everyone, it is week 23 and uh, I hope I don't look as raggedy as I feel today. It's been a long day and I figured I better do a video for you all. Why is this? What is going on here? Okay, sorry. Okay, back to the channel. So we are on week 23 and um, this week I wanted to cover something a little different. I wanted to talk about the four, maybe five things that I wish I knew before starting Contrave. I say four or five because I'm sure something will pop into my mind that I didn't think about, but right now I have four. So let's go with that. Number one, I wish I would have pushed through on the four pills. I know I was going through it and I was suffering from the insomnia insomnia and all of that but for some reason i wonder if my weight loss would have been more consistent if i had not dropped down to the two pills when i did um i really don't regret doing it because i knew why i did it and i was suffering with the insomnia but i always suffered with the insomnia so in actuality i could have kept taking the four and taking something for the insomnia at the time. So, but you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and here we are and all that matters is that I was able to get back on the four. So that's, that's great. Okay. Number two, number two is I wish <laughs> I knew about Miralax when it concerns the constipation. It would have solved so many problems 22 <laughs> weeks ago if I knew about Miralax. Miralax is amazing. And if any of you are having issues with constipation, I guarantee you, take it for a week. You may not see anything for a few days to a week, but after that, I guarantee you, you will have no issues um, with constipation ever again. It's been a while since I have even thought about it and it's because it works that well and on top of that i didn't take it for the whole week that i was away for thanksgiving it was still working <laughs> so clearly it was still in my system so one thing i've learned is don't i don't need to take it every day but i take it maybe every three days or so and and that's fine as i said in other videos i put it in my coffee and it works fine okay number three I wish I knew how much it would change my taste buds. That has been the most shocking thing for me is the fact that some days things that I love, I don't love anymore. And some days it comes back and some days it doesn't. The one thing with my coffee is I kind of enjoy it again. It's come back, but I don't know if it's because now I have, I have added, I should say, uh, CMOS gel and the Miralax to it. And it gives it maybe a slightly different taste. I don't know, but I just know I'm okay with my coffee again. And number four, I think we are going to do four because um, I thought I had another one in my head, you know, but I no, actually I do have, I do have five. Sorry. <laughs> I named, I numbered something four twice, which tells you how I've been feeling this week. Number four, sometimes cravings return. I think being on Contrave made me realize that cravings are just that. They come, they go, and it's not just about people who are overweight that are suffering through cravings. The difference is people who are small or thin naturally, they don't think about it. They eat what they want when they want to, but they tend to kind of balance it out. Sometimes they have cravings, sometimes they don't. It's like, it's no different for us than them, but we seem to think because of the fact that we're so focused on weight, we seem to think that we always have to be so stringent and feel some sort of way when we have cravings. Now I just kind of roll with it. If I have a craving, I satisfy it. My Skittles craving has gone away and I'm good. <laughs> so just like the Twizzler cravings. They come, they go, they go about their business. Right now, I'm totally fine eating regular food. <laughs> I don't need anything extra on the side. And number five. Number five, 
I realized during the Thanksgiving break that I could go for a week without tracking my calories and not fall over and die. And one other reason that I say that it's possible to skip a week and be okay if you know that you're eating okay. And even if you go overboard, like um, my last video on Thanksgiving, please check that out if you have not. But I just really realized that going without tracking sometimes is okay. I feel like some people, you know, tracking causes them to feel some sort of way and you shouldn't do it. But for me, in a way it kind of works for me because I found that if I don't track at all for like months and months, I'll realize my, my weight will creep up and I am just like, okay, we're going to be tracking some calories from now on. But I realized that I don't have to do it every week and that's great. So one other thing that I want to tell you about and that I'm going to let you go and I'm going to let myself go <laughs> is that even though, because I weighed in Saturday, even though... <laughs> I ate like a fool the week of Thanksgiving. I will tell you that I weighed in and I gained maybe 0.4 pounds, which if I was on a regular scale without the in-between numbers, I wouldn't have even noticed it. I would have been at the same weight as I was before Thanksgiving. So no complaints there. I don't think when I came back, no, I did. I did start eating somewhat correctly again when I came back home, and maybe that may have helped it, but I don't know how much I would have lost even doing that, and being that it was such a short amount of time in between um, me recording um, and weighing in. So I'm just happy that I didn't like end up four pounds up because in my head, when I was thinking about it over Thanksgiving, I was thinking, oh boy, this weigh in is going to be something else. And I was dreading it and it ended up not being so bad and I'm happy. So we will see next week what happens because this week I've been pretty much eating right. And the funny thing is the one thing I have lost once again, I've lost my taste for bacon. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I'm still in shock because when I tell you I am such a bacon person, I'm such a bacon person. But, you know, it's not a bad thing because my body can probably do without the saturated fat. And when I tell you I was killing bacon every day, not killing, like four slices a day, but still it's, it's bacon. It's four slices a day. And I just started replacing it with really good cereal that has fiber in it. And I sometimes use the Morning Star um, plant-based bacon, which weirdly I love now. Before I was like, eh, it was okay, but you know, it didn't take the place of real bacon. Now I'm like, when I think of the real bacon, I'm like, eh, I think I'm gonna use the plant-based one. Go figure, I hope it sticks because it really is better for me than the regular bacon, so. No complaints here, and that is all. <laughs> so I just wanted to drop this on you right quick so that I can edit it and get it out and uh, go to sleep because I'm tired. <laughs> it's been that type of week, and it's only Tuesday. But I did tell you all I would drop a video this week. I knew it was going to be late, and I was a little under the weather, so I'm still not at 100%, but I hope I will be on 100% next week. So I will tell you all to thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you in week 24. Have a great day. Bye.